We are going to draw the E and Z isomers of pent-2-ene. You already know that this is a five carbon chain with a double bond starting at carbon two. I'm going to draw those five carbons here. This is just a rough sketch of the molecule so we can get our bearings. Double bond starting at carbon two. And that's actually it that's in the name. So we have to fill this out with hydrogens. This double bond is where the isomerism is gonna come in. Now you may already know that E and Z correspond roughly to trans and cis. We're gonna go over the official rules in just a moment, but there's clearly going to be two different isomers here, the trans isomer and the cis isomer. In one of those, we have a hyd like both hydrogens on the top of the molecule, right? Like, you know, on the same side, this would be the cis isomer. But you're here for E and Z. E and Z designations use con ingle prelog numberings or priority systems. The idea is that each of these carbons is a branch point and you're going to have to figure out what's connected to either branch. This first carbon has a C versus an H and I'm just going atom by atom here until I find a difference. C versus H. This C is higher priority because it has the higher atomic mass. So that means the CH3 group, well, this marker's very dark, but that's okay, has the higher priority compared to the H. If I go to the other carbon, I have a C versus an H again. The C has the higher priority because it has a higher atomic mass than hydrogen, and you're going atom by atom. I don't care what's connected to this carbon. We found a difference at the very first atom on either side of the branch. Now, here's, here's where E and Z are more powerful than cis and trans. Cis and trans is for when you have two of the same group, and they are either both on the same side of the double bond or on opposite sides of the double bond. E and Z con ingle prelog rules can be used as long as the two branches are different. So it didn't matter that both of these were H. It was H versus C and H versus C. And then if the two higher priority groups are on the same side, it's Z. Now here, that is the case. I also have the two lower priority groups on the same side. So what I've drawn here is Z pent to E. Now I'm going to draw the E isomer, which is the same thing, but with the H's on opposite sides of the double bond. But I'm also going to draw it with uh, the proper bond angles. I'm going to draw my carbon double bonded to a carbon. I'm going to need one higher priority group going upward from the horizontal axis of the double bond, and the other higher priority group on the other side of the horizontal axis of the double bond. Again, you'll note that you could have called this the trans isomer, but that's only allowed because you have H's on opposite sides there. In order to label E and Z isomers, I recommend just drawing what you are familiar with as the cis and trans isomers, and it doesn't matter which is which. You have to use the con ingle prelog rules where you branch out one atom at a time, compare their atomic masses, and if they are different, the higher atomic mass is the higher priority. P.S. If they were the same, you'd go to the next atoms that that is connected to. Um, so if that was a C and that was a C, then we'd be comparing what the C's, what that C was connected to in turn over and over and over again until you finally find the difference between the two chains. All right, here's your two isomers. Maybe that's just all you came for and best of luck.